Hello everybody and welcome back to Sexalpania and we are back to basics kind of with some cataclysm dark days ahead. Now then I'm going to try because I haven't done a whole lot of editing try throwing screenshots of what my character is specifically and what my starting or what my world mods are. Uh, you'll notice I threw in the kill for stats mod which I thought would be kind of fun make this more of an RPG and incentivize killing. Uh, but my goal here is to play through the true food person uh, intro where you're, you're uh, in your break room at the at a restaurant and then the zombie apocalypse starts. So try to do a bit of a challenge run. I'll be using the true food person uh, character I made as many times as it takes before I get bored of <laughs> trying this stupid run. Now, I haven't played Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead in quite a while. I did get better at it than my last video, I think. Because I played it on my phone for a while, and I've survived. I've actually cleared a town or four house town before, before dying. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll try to survive this. And I learned the other day, I was trying to record some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and I learned they updated the NPC stuff to where there's actual missions, and they actually have, like, little connected communities, and they point you to other NPCs and stuff, and you can actually do stuff with that and do missions for them. And when you die, you'll actually see an ending for all the NPCs you found. Or like different groups of NPCs you found, which is really cool. So I'm going to try to deal with that. And right now, my character, or a quick rundown for those who don't feel like looking at the picture if I don't put it up there. I'm just a true food person. I didn't take a lot of positive traits, but I took a lot of negative traits that should be relatively not that bad. And he is a cosplayer with parkour, because I didn't realize parkour was shifted to a background instead of a trait, because I haven't been at this for a while. Now, I hope you excuse me with my lack of remembering what the keybinds are, but let's help I figure it out. <laughs> and I'm going to take two steak knives. I have a bat. I'm glad I have a bat, because I, uh, I was trying a different run the other day, and not having a melee weapon was kind of rough. <laughs> so, let's see if I can survive all of this to some extent. Let's take some potato chips. Now let's take a towel. Probably shouldn't be taking any copper pots around with me, you know. As good of an idea as it sounds. We want to take all the cups we can get. Alright, we don't want any of that. A blanket. And luckily all the blinds are closed, so let's grab all the books we can get. And let's grab some granola. Alright. I actually don't know. Will granola spoil? We'll find out. For now, I'm just going to take all the basics I can get. Cucumber sandwich. Marijuana. Yes, please. I find it funny that everything starts frozen because of how cold it is. But yeah, they've actually been doing a lot of updates to this game. Like, they just came out with a, a new, like, they just recently came up with a new staple version. I forgot the name of, which is what I found when I was doing all this. So you can get a stable version. This, that's what I'm playing the latest stable because I don't know if we're still, if you still need to play the um, most recent. Or, give me a second. I'll think of the words because uh, I don't know if I should be playing the nightly builds or whatever, or what build is the most recent because I've got gotten on the Discord or anything. But so far, I'm fine with just. This build. Is this a guy? No, that is a mannequin. <laughs> and that freaked me the fuck out. I'm pretty sure I'm already wearing a food person outfit, though. Let's see. Yep, I got a food person outfit. A mascot. I thought it'd be fun just do a... Because I was looking through all the different little challenges you can do, and I thought this would be a pretty fun challenge, just being a fucking mascot. <laughs> just taking all the water. But I do, like I said, I do want to try to have a lot of, try to do a lot of the NPC stuff, because that just seems really fun to do. Now there's a reason to do it. And let's take all the batteries. And then we'll talk to this NPC guy up here, who for some reason has a gun. Tyrell McMullen. At least we got a shelter. What, sh uh, what should we do now? We could look for one of those farms out here. They can provide plenty of food and aren't close to the cities. Yeah, yeah. At least we got you. He just said that, Tyra. Stop being an NPC. Do you got any tips? I found more good weapons in hardware stores than everywhere else. 
Except guns, of course. Thanks. It's not very helpful. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is kind of helpful. Can I do anything for you? Oh, you got a job for me? What is it? I left my... A dog? Yeah, I'll, I'll get your dog. Yeah. Oh man, I hope it doesn't die. <laughs> I'll be back to fuck. That's gonna be my first mission, the dog. Oh, is this pointing me out to the mission? You know, I thought I turned... I turned on the alternate map key. So I don't know... <laughs> Okay, so if this looks weird, that's probably why. So there's an alternate map key now. And I'm assuming this is V. Yeah, okay, so I have to go up there. Through the entirety of the city. Oh, it looks like this because I'm up, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. See, you can see I'm using the alternate map now. So I'm currently in... The garage? No, where am I? So we have to get here, and find the lost dog, and we have to get back to... Here, which is the restaurant. <sighs> Man, I really like dogs, so I'm going to hate this mission. <laughs> but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Close that, one way or another. We're going to figure this out. Well, let's see if there's anything else I should get. Because I'd assume my food person after will keep me cool. Like, I would assume so. Because, or keep me warm, I should say. Adhesive bandage, adhesive bandage. Yeah, I'll take all the bandages. Uh, Tyrell. Here's the thing, Tyrell. You have a gun? So you're better equipped at this than me. If you die, I'll take your guns from you. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'll, I'll get your dog if you die. That's all I'm saying. I'll get your dog for you, even if you die. Oh, you know, I don't like something bashing on our windows all the way up here. You know we're in the sky, right, Tyro? You know, you know it's not a good idea if we're being attacked way up on the second floor. Stay frosty. So, I know. I hear. I hear the smashing too, Tyrell. Like you're just making more noise and alerting people that we're here. You know, you could be not a dumbass sometimes. All I'm gonna say. <laughs> Food place is appropriate snack. But it's funny because I took lightweight, but I took the marijuana anyways. <laughs> And now a moment of silence for our character, who is probably going to die. Am I... really? Okay, that's weird. That is very weird. Okay, I cannot remember what the look key is look okay yeah there we go look around let's just make sure oh, there really no zombies in my side immediately wow that's nice I don't like the fact that I'm hearing smashes trying to keep an eye on the compass because that is something I do not keep an eye on very well to the northeast Let's ignore it, and let's look around. Okay, what type of zombie is this that's going to kill us? It is a zombie! Okay, so we're safe for now. Let's just sneak about. We're in the darkness. Butter knife. To the northeast. Can they see me? Again, I haven't played this game in a while. I was never very good at it. You guys know I'm not very good at it. But we'll see. A zombie to the east. 
Okay, does it see me, or are we still sneaking? Okay, it can't see me, so let's keep on going. Okay, I hope it didn't see me. Bathroom? Bathroom? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's check the map. So if I go north, I'll reach a house. Then we'll have to go north, go down two streets. Ugh, oh, this is not a fun mission. <laughs> I don't, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be a challenge starting in the middle of a city, uh, a little beehive? Yeah, last time I played I found a nest of giant wasps. <laughs> I, do, I do not like the sound of a beehive of giant wasps, or giant bees. I, 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 I this. Man, I, I, the more I look at this starting location, the more I'm starting to regret playing this game again. <laughs> like seriously, just imagine this shit. Just imagine living in this bullshit. Like, you have giant fucking radioactive bees trying to murder you. You have all sorts of shit just trying to murder you. It's not fun. So I guess our first goal is to get this dog. And then try to get out of the city. Because I don't think we're clearing the city. <laughs> or anything like that. But I do need to go up north to this house. One other. To the east. And one other. I don't like the sound of other. Like... Let's see, that means it's a zombie. A brainless zombie. A zombie. Is it the brainless zombie that's the other? What's this? I guess I can't see it. Okay, what's to my what's to the right? A fast food restaurant and a, okay, so that was a garage I'm looking at. We'll just ignore it for now. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the game. There's a lot of random pauses and trying to make sure stuff isn't trying to kill you. So that's another zombie, another zombie, another brainless zombie. And then another zombie. Alright, but slower than me. I forgot I have parkour, so I can just walk over this stuff. So we'll slip through the window. Okay, so so far there's nothing here. But this is where stuff's gonna start getting... <laughs> Kinda bad because I'm at a house. I have to get inside this house to the east and northwest. Okay, we're gonna have to check our north. Ah, oh, crap! Did I press the wrong button? <laughs> I pressed the wrong. I thought I was looking over here and accidentally walked. Can't see your current location. Okay, so we're still safe. If we can get inside this house, we're safe. I don't like the amount of open windows and shit. But for now, we're safe. Let's stay close to the wall and see if we can... Okay, door is locked. I... I do not know if it's a good idea going to this house to the left, honestly. Like, because there are a lot of open windows in here, so there's not a lot of cover over here. Like... I can see into that house very easily. Door's locked. But if I get a crowd on my way to the other house over here, then that's not good either. Oh, but the house is near a gun store. See, yeah, so that's a big bay window that we can't close, so. Two crawling zombies to the north. Okay, I hit the wrong button again. I hit the wrong button. So the button to look is next to the comma button, or the apostrophe button. So you have to hit the semicolon and then the apostrophe. Okay, so we have one hostile zombie coming my way. Two tough zombies to the north. But let's look down here, because I feel like I see something down here. Yeah, getting out of the city is going to be death. <laughs> I'm just kind of glad it isn't like hordes and hordes and hordes trying to kill me immediately. So that's a zombie. And that's a tough zombie. Alright, and then that's a crawling zombie. All hostile. Alright, and this is decayed zombie. And that's a zombie. So I think I only have to worry about these three currently. Which, if I can get inside the house... 
then I have the advantage inside the house because I can parkour. That's why I took parkour master. So I put the points into parkour master because with parkour, especially if I can get a spear, I am at the advantage mostly. Uh, no curtains on this piece of shit. Okay, I don't like that, but I'll take the aspirins. I'll take the painkillers. While we're here, we're a little hidden. But there's really not a lot I can do about being hidden. Okay. Let's try. Okay, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get hidden inside this house. Again, I hit the wrong button instead of look. But. Damn, there's. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to try to move on as soon as I can. But there's a lot of zombies outside, man. There's a lot of zombies trying to kill me outside, man. I'm probably better trying to hit them off at the house, maybe? I think so. You know, we'll try our hand at combat, and we'll see what happens. Alright, so... Okay. Actually... Let's try going upstairs and see what happens. Let's see what we find up here. Because upstairs, we at least have some slight advantage of knowing they'll be coming down the stairs. And I think all those noises come from downstairs. Okay. Let's see, I think it's I? No. No, I'm trying to remember what the fucking buttons are to go. Alright, so. We're fighting! Whack the zombie. Whack the zombie. Whack the zombie. Whack the zombie. Okay, it's dead. But let's smash it. Okay, there we go. Let's look at our body. I don't think anything is bleeding yet, but we've been hurt. Alright. We're in minimal pain, so I don't think we got hurt too bad. So let's check what's on here. Pulp's corpse. Rolling tobaccos. Nah, let's not go for rolling tobaccos. Smartphone might be good. Maybe not. Okay, so we're able to kill one zombie. We're not out of the woods yet, so backscabber. You know what? Can I wear something on? Do I have anything on my back? Because I might just take that back scabbard. No, how do you wear? Yeah, it's Shift W. Let's see if I can't. Okay, I have my back scabbard. Just in case. You can find swords in the game, mostly in mansions, I think. That you can find swords, but let's okay. So, what is that icon below me? Is it bleeding? Let's see. Info view player info. I am feeling fine. Oh, that's my lifestyle. I'm 5'9, I'm 25 years old. I got blue hair. <laughs> You can actually see all my stats here, but I'll still probably throw it on on my other screen. My speed, I have some pain. Okay, I have minor bleeding on my left arm. There we go. So, we do have something for that. You see, I took, I took a lot of stuff earlier. I don't have any uh, first aid kits, but I should have plenty of adhesive bandages, which we can activate. Okay, so I let me look at it again. Am I just a dumbass? I thought you a dumbass. Because uh, I forgot exactly which arm was bleeding. I guess it's only my, is it my, only my left arm? Yeah, I guess it was only my left arm that was bleeding that time around. Okay, so we have bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. A pipe. Ooh, okay. Is there a way to examine the pipe? <laughs> Look. No. 
interact. No. Interact. Okay, so we want to examine your batch frame furniture and items. Type. Now I want to see what it is. I don't know, I guess my baseball bat's probably better than a pipe for now. That's what we'll go for. So I know this house has a bunch of books. You know, if we get to that point, that door is locked, so let's not mess with it. Alright. We might as well try to clear the upstairs first. Because it might be a good idea to make a stand here for a bit. Just to... Football armor, motorcycle armor. Might be good to switch out my... What am I wearing? My... Well, I have a hard chest guard. I'm pretty sure my food person outfit probably gives me decent some armor. Okay, so that's a fat zombie. Let's attack it. Fat zombie claws on my head, and I'm bleeding now. All I can do is fight it to death. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I need another bandage. Okay, that's right. It turns pink when it's bleeding. Let's see. Does he have anything on him? Electronic cigarette. Not what I need. So the only thing I have to worry about going downstairs and fighting them off is I'm going to have to fight multiple of them. And I don't think I have a way to make a makeshift spear yet. More bandages. Because if I can make a makeshift spear, then I'm good. Okay, let's see. Let's craft. Craft items. Weapon. A simple knife spear. Because, I'm, because any kind of spear would give me the advantage. Because I have a 10 foot reach. But this will take a long pole. A butcher knife. Cotton patch and a long quarters piece. Alright. I might be able to find most of this in here. I don't think I'll be able to find the knives I need up here for it. We're gonna be able to find some other stuff up here. No. But no. Let's see what else I can possibly craft. <laughs> That's a weapon. Because a pony stick. Do the pony stick have reach? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole lot more than what I currently have. A long pointy stick can be used to make reach attacks. So what do I need for it? A long stick. Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where to get a long stick, but I'm wondering if I... Because you can tear down the curtains, I might be able to find a long stick in there. I don't know if that's like an outside long stick, or... What? But I forget how you tear stuff down. Wait, wait. Tear down the curtains. And the curtain rod. Long string, a nail, two sheets, and a stick. Oh, that's right, it's only a stick. Can you make a long stick? <laughs> I feel like you can make a long stick. I'm not entirely sure. But. If I can, that'll be good. Because <laughs> I really want something with reach. With my parkour. Okay, I guess I probably can't make a long stick. I'm not sure exactly where to find a long stick, so. This is a long good. <laughs> but at least I'm doing better than I normally do. I'll say that. A little bit better. I don't think you can't hear my dog over there. She's being a bit of a... She's being a bit wildling. She's being a bit of a wilder. 
playing with my playing with my cat. Well, I, we might be able to go with piercing and see if there's anything else that has reach. Let's see. I mean, anything that's a bit better than what I currently have is probably good. But I think it's just a simple, nice beer. Now, we have the long string we need, so we can get a cotton patch. Okay, I guess a steak knife doesn't count, so it has to be a chef knife. But a spy well, we still need a long split. For long s okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the long string and hope for a makeshift. Yeah, make sure. Again, I have to check the crafting menu because I forgot if I need a long stick for that one. Because I'm an idiot. Which we probably do need a long stick, long pole, or a long stick. Okay, we don't have a long pole. So I guess we're just going to try to head these zombies off the baseball bat. Okay, so something broke in here that I did not see anymore. But everything I see is to the northwest. Because we had something break in. To the north. Okay, they're all over there. <laughs> I found them. I figured out where they went. Managed to hide. Alright. Alright, so I think our best bet is just hightail it. Hightail it out of here and hope. <laughs> Let's see. So, the community garden, if we can get to this house, we can, okay, let's hightail to the community garden and hope. Okay, I see him up there. I see him. I still see him. They're coming. They're, oh boy, they're coming. Actually, I should be able to examine this. <laughs> Security system down, seatbelt down, controls work. What is this? It's a hippie van? Door? You know, it might not be the worst idea trying to get into this van. I mean, considering all the stuff that's going down. Let's control vehicle. Examine vehicle. Does it have any gasoline? It has gasoline. Okay. The controls are working. Yeah, let's try this. Turn on the engine. How do you control this vehicle again? It should just be... I'm trying to find where that fucking button is on my keyboard. <laughs> okay. Cannot, how do you know how you control it? Shape name. Okay, wheel. 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 Okay, engine safe. Top speed, mass, status, wheels enough. Oh, man, it says a lot about me that I can't remember how to fucking drive this thing. I'm trying to control the fucking vehicle. Control the gosh dang vehicle. Man, if I fucking die here because I can't even drive this thing. Alright, I guess it's out of the vehicle time. <laughs> Let's see, B. Okay, there we go. I guess we're just gonna have to go all out on this. Steal this lighter and see if we can't get the fuck out of here. 
Let's use that as a distraction then, because I cannot figure out how the fuck you're supposed to... Because the controls are working on it. The controls aren't broke, because the other day I was playing this, I found a car that had broke controls. It, that one has controls that work. And that's a tough zombie. Yep, this is probably my death. No. Okay, I'm trying to... I can't remember what the fucking... Controls are to... Go downwards. Yeah, that's probably where I die. You know what? It was a good run, though. It was a good run for however long it lasted. Yep. It, it was good for how long it lasted. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so... If any of you understand why I couldn't drive that van, <laughs> am I missing something? I don't know. But... I probably missed something. <laughs> but, uh. We got achievements now, too. Let's see. You and everyone who fo followed you were forgotten. Alright. And let's reset the world this time. Anyways, that <laughs> was my first attempt at the food person challenge run thing I'm gonna do. I did pretty good until I got stuck on that van. <laughs> and I got. A little stuck. Hey, at least I learned a little bit about looking at my surroundings this time. But uh, I'm starting to think I'm not cut out for a city, <laughs> a city area. So if you have any uh, suggestions on how to play, I'll look. Uh, I'll look forward to it. <laughs> and I will hopefully edit this a bit more to actually throw in some video pictures and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more, that was loud. If you want more, uh, send me a message, a uh, comment. I'll be happy with any comment. <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of good to be back and talk about stuff. At least I had a plan this time, because I know my first CDA, CDDA video, I was rambling a bit. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Now I have a goal. I, I hope the dog was fine. You know, the good thing about me dying is that the dog's permanently going to be alive now. That's the good thing. The world was reset. I didn't fuck that up. Dog's fine. Anyways, again, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a good week.